Well, first thing you have to take it, you have to take into consideration, as they keep telling you and so forth, is that we're trying to save people and so forth. But one of our big problems is older people, and as you can obviously tell, I'm, I'm 90, uh, 92 years old. So, uh, about the only thing I do is sit here and either read or watch television. Or somewhere, and uh, uh, we've been, again, uh, my wife is still around, and we've been married 64 years. And I said we did an awful lot together, but now we just nothing we can do. We we have two daughters living here in Maryland, and I said I feel sorry for them. Uh, we talk to them on the phone, but we don't see them. Uh, if they believe in this country, they believe well. They have a religion. I mean, what if, whatever they believe in, if I consider it, I consider it's right, then I grow with them. But I've got to tell them, you, 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 there's not much you can do about it, even in this respect. Now, and you say, you know, we talk about uh, this disease we have now, but you also got another problem. This, um, if you go back over the last few years, and not only the last few years, the last fires, uh, floods. People losing their house, hurricanes, tornadoes, things seems to, there seems to be something wrong somewhere. And, but, um, I, I will, I'll tell you a, a little, little short story is that, um, I, I did teach, um, high school, um, for about eight years. And the, the point is, is, is sometimes they, they were, they were uh, high school. And sometimes we get it, you know, parents and, and uh, uh, teachers meeting. And this is one thing I always found out. I would, I would say to them, look, at, look, at the parents have got a problem. Uh, I think we're, one of the big problems is that you can't understand whether you want to talk to them or don't want to talk to them, but you can't understand is that uh, they no longer are in a what do you want to call it, a grammar school, where they're all, they see the same kids day after day, day after, you know, same background and so forth. When they go into high school, their lives change. And uh, because they just don't have a, now they're going to meet a dozen people that they never knew before, different nationalities, religion, whatever you want to call it, you know, ideas. And and that's what's happening now. The, the point is, is that I think that, um, <laughs> Times have changed, and uh, obviously, and uh, a lot of these young people just don't seem. If going back to what we talked about history before, just don't understand what has happened over years and years, and things aren't the same. So I uh, say, so what you're going to do is uh, respect other people, listen to them. That doesn't mean you have to believe them, but at least listen to them. And that's one of our problems. Our people, they just don't listen. And uh, I think that's it. That, and, and respect, I think it's always the other thing. I, if there's nothing else, one thing you, you learn going in the service, you got to show respect.